g'day. So for today's video of uh, comfy drive out to Mount Stromlo, and Mount Stromlo is the site of a, an observatory here in Canberra. I've come out here because we've had uh, snowfalls on the Brindabellas, which is the mountain range which skirts the western side of Canberra. And I thought it might be an opportunity to come out and see if I could photograph some of the snow on the mountains. Sorry about the face attire. It is freezing cold here. I'm just currently making my way up, having a bit of an explore around, see if I can find some compositions. And I'm just heading up a hill at the moment to see if I can get a an unobstructed view further south uh, to some of the larger mountains in the Brindabella Ranges which are, are dusted with, with snow. So it's, it's quite windy here on Mount Stromlo and uh, I don't really like my chances of finding a spot that's sheltered from the wind that gives the views out over the Brindabellas like I hope. I'll continue to have a bit of a look around and uh, hopefully I'll I'll find something soon. If I don't get an image today, I'm not that worried. Really, it was just a chance to get out into the hills around Canberra, and uh, what better time to do it than when it's freezing cold. So I'm not having much luck. Uh, there's a great view of the largest mountain in this area, which is fairly heavily covered in snow. But it's that classic thing of the best view is often the worst view, in that there's a great big power pole with some power lines cutting right across the composition. I'll keep searching around. There's bound to be something here that I can shoot. It may just take me a little while to find it. Hopefully this soul breaker wind doesn't break my resolve. Anyway, I'll have a bit of a look down here. There might be something of interest. It looks like a bit of a clearing with a rock outcrop, so I might be able to get a shot out across the valley. So Mount Stromlo is quite an interesting area. Um, this whole mountain and the areas around it were ravaged by bushfires. I think it was about 15, 20 years ago. So there's a lot of regrowth happening in a lot of the trees, but there's still lots of evidence of those fires. Burnt out logs and trees lying around everywhere. It's, it's really good to see that it's regenerated itself. Um, however, today it's a little bit frustrating because all the, uh, all the young trees are growing up and just hindering my uh, landscape photography efforts today. The trick today is to walk around and hopefully find a spot that's it's fairly clear and um, the, the vantage point points down more, more south towards the bigger mountains in the Brindabellas and I can capture um, unobstructed views of the snow that's, uh, that's covering those mountains. Things you find, eh? Someone must have been teeing off from the car park. Hang on a minute. These astronomy kiddies are fully into golf. This is the second golf ball I've found uh, within the space of about 50 metres walking around up here. Anyway, if I don't mind a bit of golf, I'll uh, add those to the kit bag. I'm hoping this isn't the state of Australian astronomy relics that's just sitting around this area. So I'm still not having much luck finding a composition I'm happy with and so I decided to head a bit further north along Mount Stromlo up towards the actual observatory proper. Hopefully that'll give me 
some kind of view back down south where the bigger mountains are and I'll be able to find a composition that's got nice leading lines or nice elements in the image that lead into one of the hero mountains that uh, is covered in snow. So I finally found the composition I was after. I had to work for it a bit this morning, but I'm up on top of the hill, just at the base of the, the Stromlo Observatory at the moment. And uh, the view that I've got looks down a hill uh, into a gully, and then I've got the largest mountain in the area in the Brindabellas with um, snow on top of that behind me. The composition I'm shooting has uh, a wattle tree, which is about to bloom in the bottom right hand corner of the image and then this acts as a kind of interest point in the it, in the base of the image and then a leading line of the valley runs you through to the mountain in the background. To balance out the wattle tree I've also got a um, one of the observatory domes um, to the top left hand side of the image so I'm getting a kind of leading line that's like a zigzag across the image. Now it's just a matter of taking a few shots and waiting for some good light. Uh, there's a few cloud drifts that are passing over the mountain in the background. I'm just waiting for those to clear before I take a shot. So from this location, um, I've decided to put on my 70 to 300 zoom lens and shoot at a focal length of about between 70 and 100 millimetres. This is framing the image quite nicely, but um, I may well look to swap over to the 24 to 105 just to give me a bit more room either side. I'm shooting f16, it's a shutter speed of about 1 80th of a second and uh, this hopefully will freeze the action of the trees. It's a bit windy so the wattle tree in the foreground is blowing around a bit and hopefully at that quicker shutter speed they'll freeze that and I won't get any motion blur there. I might shoot a couple more frames here, I'm shooting both a portrait and landscape composition. Uh, the landscape I'm not too sure about but I'll also shoot a, a series of panoramic images where I'll shoot three frames and then stitch those together in post. Now I'll shoot a few more frames and then I might have a bit of a walk around see if I can find some different compositions to shoot. So the second composition I've found is definitely a panoramic image. And that's the scene behind me here. So I've got the mountain to the right, and then I've got one of the observatory domes on the left hand side of the image, and then uh, the mountain trees that the observatory sits on cuts across the middle of the image, forming a nice sort of horizontal leading line from left to right. Uh, in the foreground of that, I've got some old dead gum trees, which are being illuminated by the sun as it breaks through the clouds. The composition um, means that I have to shoot a, a panorama of anywhere between four and six frames and then I'll stitch these together in post. I'm shooting at uh, an aperture of f16 and a uh, shutter speed of about 200th of a second. Um, this will hopefully freeze any of the blur that I'm getting in the trees as the wind passes through those in the foreground. There's some beautiful snow drifts passing over the mountain and um, so it's just a matter of timing in between those. So I'm still picking up the, the, the sense of those, I guess, in the background of the image but uh, the peak of the mountain isn't obscured by those at the same time.
I really enjoyed shooting here this morning on Mount Stromlo in Canberra. And uh, look, I'll admit I probably didn't get the best light today. Um, I'd really like to return here and maybe shoot a sunrise and a sunset. Um, the sunrise out over the valley of Canberra would be quite spectacular. And equally, the sunset over the Brindabellas to the west would be uh, favourable to shoot as well. Uh, I didn't get the best light conditions here today, but uh, a little bit of snow on the Brindabellas is always something interesting to shoot, and it doesn't happen that often, so it was well worth coming out and photographing that today. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and uh, I'm going to head back to the car now and uh, go and get a hot coffee. I'm pretty frozen at the moment. and. Um, yeah, have a great day. Cheers.